Uh, this essay is about uh, about trying to convince people about the changes in one's life due to Dancing with Death. And exactly 10 years ago, I had two dances with death. One um, having to do with um, cancer of the prostate that had gotten outside the prostate that I had to go back for radiation for a couple of months. I recovered from that. But the other one, and they're probably the one that really changed my life once I realized it was a sub subdural hematoma, the bleeding in the brain, a traumatic brain injury falling off a ladder. I was in ICU for four weeks in intermediate care and then transferred to a rehab hospital for another three weeks. I don't remember the fall or being in the first hospital. I don't remember going to the second hospital and only remember the last couple of days in that second hospital. So when my brain swelled out because of the bleeding, um, I wasn't, <laughs> I wasn't capable of thinking. Um, and then it took me a couple of months to get back to normal and and that's the place where I made, I, I didn't realize the difference in me. The, the dancing with death didn't cause me, I didn't start by going down one road and then dance with death and go down another road. Now I look back on it and I realize that it wasn't a left or right thing. It had to do with degree of elevation. Meaning if this is where I am or was, prior to Dancing with Death, issues that I thought were important, things that motivated me, then this is where I was after Dancing with Death. But I didn't realize that change because it took me a while to process what was going on in my head um, due to the first and second dances. And it wasn't until I was out to dinner with a guy who I'd never met in Chicago, Mike Schmidt, and I was talking about looking for a job teaching someplace in Chicago and he just sat me down and we had dinner together and introduced ourselves and he said, well, Campbell, tell me about yourself. And I did for nearly the entire dinner. And he was, um, I mean, he knew, he, I mean, he, at the end of the dinner, he said, have you seen Randy Posh's last lecture? And I said, no, and I continued to talk to him about important things I thought were driving me. And he said, I'll send you the link to that video. That video is an hour and 15 minutes, and, or 60 minutes and 37 seconds. And I've taught for 20 years, I've been in school and since you know, college, grad school, postgraduate school for 15 years almost. So you can imagine how many lectures either I've given or I've attended over those 30 some years, 40 years. I have never sat in on a lecture or given a lecture that was more eye opening to me personally than the one Randy Posh. I saw that video the next morning. I was going through my emails and said, oh, Mike Schmidt did send that to me, I'll watch it. And it was like somebody slapped me across the face, like, and I, and I, and I was like, ah, now I get it, now I understand. Comma, but when I tell people that, it's hard for them to grasp. And I have a friend who is smart enough to argue with me about anything that we might disagree about. And he was being polite about it. He just said, you know, it might have to do with this, might have to do with this, might have to do with this, but I don't really buy the dancing with death issue. And interestingly, um, and this is something I see in my teaching, I love it when a student or a friend says yes but to me. 
because now I can rephrase what I believe and make sure that that person understands it. And so um, I don't want to get into too many more details about this essay, but it it is it is one of the most haunting kinds of of experiences. It is like seeing the light and then trying to explain that to somebody it goes over their heads because they haven't done the dance. So if you've if you've done the dance uh, you probably can relate to this very easily. If you haven't at least think about the, the last couple of paragraphs about what I can offer you, even though you haven't done the dance. So uh, I appreciate your time uh, watching, listening to this video and reading this essay. And take care.